Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and welcome to new people, new viewers as well and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live This is your 7 month um, reading um, As you know, if you're a, a faithful follower and Cyber Angel then uh, you know that I have done the yearlies but because the energy has changed so drastically I was wondering uh, what kind of energy there would be or what has changed for every sign so that's why I started to do this reading just an update so that you can compare it with your yearly uh, reading um, and see what's in store with you for you so this is uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December the overall energy and I'm uh, using the inspiration deck just to inspire everybody for the new beginning and the changes that are happening and I'm using the Linamon deck and uh, show and tell deck that's this one I'll go into that one a little bit more when I get to it and the romance deck I know it's been a hard time for everybody, even for me um, because you get frustrated and nothing happens and everything is delayed and blah 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 well I hope you are all safe and well and coping with the lockdown but luckily here in Holland the hairdressers are already opening and shops are opening and people are getting back to business but still offices are closed because the environment, uh, if people go to the office, they'll sit too close to each other. So uh, they are doing 50-50 shifts, like in schools as well. One week, the one group goes three days, and the other group goes two days, and the week after that, it's exchanged. Well, for June uh, Scorpio, um, you have the hanged man there might have been some delays like for hours for days for weeks for months so you could still be in the middle of something because it happened at the uh, beginning of february so it's february march april and it might be finished at the end of may for you too so that is in june june the first everything uh, a lot of things will officially be allowed to open up here in Holland so it would uh, most probably correspond with some of the Dutch people if this reading doesn't resonate with you look at your moon sign or your rising sign but I would say compare it to your yearlies um, the hanged man also means um, taking time out to meditate to contemplate and evaluate the situation at hand or questions that you might have get a different perspective on something now you've got th the time to think about it and evaluate and to get an other perspective perhaps you might uh, get new ideas in this meditative state or contemplation state you might be out of balance and you can see the cat is wearing a blindfold and is walking on a tightrope you might feel that you're walking on a tightrope and it's like a clock is going to or a bomb that's going is ticking don't worry come out of your head take that blindfold off and find your balance open your heart open your solar plex then you will be able to see and feel again then you can let the new perspective and ideas come in and use it to your advantage in July you have the six of sky so in July you will be leaving rough waters and going to smoother waters you might be even going on holiday or moving home you might be crossing water although there is no water in this color uh, in this card in this deck um, in the traditional uh, deck you see a boat you see a boat crossing water a woman with six swords leaving one shore to go to the next crossing water so here the bunny is hiding and the squirrel is in the tree the dog is not seeing it um, and he's not too bothered about these two animals but this squirrel 
when the dog is gone it will move away to other pastures so you might not be able to see it yet but it is coming towards you then you have the queen of pentacles so you might have sown seeds and you might be nurturing them and waiting until they come to fruition blossoming so that you can pick the harvest you might have had a job interview before the lockdown and you haven't been able to start your job but it's coming definitely because the queen also stands for fertility so now the ground is fertile in July um, you might be finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions you might if you're too mature to get pregnant then uh, you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or a new job or a new home um, it could also be from uh, the uh, the Queen of Pentacles represents um, Virgo so you might even be meeting a Virgo but don't exclude the two other earth signs Capricorn and Taurus she also nurtures everything so she's planted seeds and she wants to have a beautiful garden she wants to it's like a farmer a farmer sows seeds then the crop starts growing and he's already planting for the next season so the next load to come to fruition and this is what you might be doing this is might be what you are locking yourself away from not willing to see that you need to plant more seeds so every time you'll have a harvest so you won't be empty handed handed so perhaps you might have found a, a way of earning money at home besides outside the house because rabbits they do breed a lot and they they'll multiply and multiply so this is what I think you might be doing a couple of different things planting seeds not only for red roses or uh, lilies but you could also be planting other seeds that so it will repeat the repetition of multiplying and the queen of S uh, pentacles is also known as mother earth like the empress and they nurture what they love and they protect what they love and what is dear to them in um, August you have the moon and the moon b means that you're on the right path but there are still things unknown to you there's mystery perhaps you need to find uh, uh, answers to situations or issues and um, you need to do some more research but the moon is also spotlight like the Sun and the star you are in the spotlight you have been noticed this could be by a Pisces now you can see the two pillars here in August you'll have a new beginning because the angels are this is to me a number 11 are giving you a porthole to go through to step through a doorway so try to find out as much as you can you might even get a job offer like I said you're going to mm, better shores something is worrying you because you feel that you've been stabbed in the back look at all the swords in that cushion there might be a um, an ending to a friendship it could be with a Pisces because it's lying underneath the Pisces or it could no, uh, uh, or it could be uh, the Queen of Pentacles a Virgo or an other earth sign something is coming to an ending and you might not know about it or you might not feel anything uh, yet um, because um, this is in August your intuition and your emotions might be heightened your emotions could be heightened because you've been uh, tied down uh, 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 a long time and look we've got this in June and we've got it too and it's two months from June so 
you might not be seeing that something is coming to an end. Perhaps you don't want to see it. That's why you've closed your heart off and your solar plex and your mind. So do some more research. If you want to change the situation, if it is with regards to a relationship or a friendship or a job, then do some more research. See what you can do. Start applying for a new job. Talk to your partner, if that is your partner, or to a friend. Ask what's the matter. Talk it out before it's too late. Forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> then you have the five of wands. It could be to do with competition. And most readers say it is arguments, disagreements. It can be, but I think um, it is a mock fight. In the traditional tarot of Wired Wait, uh, no, not Wired Wait, um, I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot the name now, but of the traditional tarot. Uh, the, there's five boys uh, with sticks, wands, rods, um, joisting, and they are doing a mock fight. It's a not a real fight. It is competition. Who's the who's the best uh, joister? Because in the olden days they used to do that. B and that was the um, apprentice to a knight, because a page becomes a knight and a knight becomes a queen, and a queen becomes the king in status. So this is pure competition and learning, learning what competition is like, and uh, uh, competition is also your um, a person that challenges you. It could be your, like if I had a shop and it was a butcher, and there was a butcher across the road, he would want to sell uh, to my customers your competition. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope so. So that is in September, and in September you do have the Knight of Cups. It is slow and steady. So there might be a job offer, but this is definitely a job offer um, for with durability and for long term. This could be the relationship with that Queen, or that friendship with the Queen of Pentacles. And it will be slow but steady growing and trusting especially if uh, you had a friend and you felt stabbed in the back your trust will be gone so if you get a new friend or a new partner or a new job you will take it steady and slowly and look the cat out of the tree before you have an other best friend for life you have the shaman and the shaman is also known as the high priest or the Hierophant. Now the High Priest can also represent a Taurus, okay? And again, don't exclude the other Earth signs. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, and that is Virgo, and now we've got Taurus. So Pentacles is quite prominent in your reading. You might seek advice from a father figure or a professional. This could be a doctor, this could be a judge, this could be an advocate, this could be a, a social worker, a career, a career officer, you name it. You might be seeking advice if you do get a job offer or a new relationship passion, because the cups stand for passion and love, nurturing and sensuality. But, or it could be that somebody didn't want that confrontation and it's finished and that is in um, August and you, there might still some, be some residue or it might still have a tail. You might find out in um, uh, October that something is missing, that, some, that somebody that left you um, took things that belong to you, so you might need a lawyer, okay, or if they've taken, <laughs> if they've left you, with obviously with a broken heart, they have taken something psychologically from you, your freedom, your trust, they've broken that, 
and it's so difficult to trust somebody again. It will take a long time for the wound to heal and to learn to trust other people. So they've left you with only two swords and they've taken five swords with them. That's usually what is depicted. Here there's two lying and there is uh, this is the seven. So where is the other sword? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, there's two lying. One there, and then you've got five swords. And so you might have um, and swords, and then I get the word sore, sore, painful, painful. And so some you might have a broken heart. You might have a mental. Um, let me take, let me take. Uh, scar. You might have a mental scar. So it could be that you're seeking advice from a psychiatrist or a psychologist to get over this broken heart or a social worker. If it, they've taken something else from you and you discover this in October, they might have stolen something and you want it back, then you might get advice from a policeman. He is after all an advisor, a teacher, anybody. He works for municipalities or institutions. So it can be hospital, can be school, those are also institutions or a church. Now in November you have the Ten of Cups, happy families. You might be extending uh, the family, so you might have a new love uh, in the next seven months. Like I said, it could be uh, a Virgo or an Earth sign. Uh, we've got the Pisces uh, water signs. We've got the Knight of C uh, Cups. So that is all the water signs. And then we've got the uh, Higher Priest, which is Taurus. So you might meet somebody new, but you will be a happy unit because the 10 is completion and also an ending. So there is a new beginning. Wow. And look what is lying underneath it. The Ace of Cups. So I think you will have learned from the advice from somebody, a professional or a father figure on how to deal with trust and sadness because your cup is overflowing it, you've got new passion perhaps a new job that you're passionate about or that you love wow there will be happy families awesome then you have the seven of sky you know how to defend yourself you might feel that you have to defend yourself for everybody. You don't. Walk away from other people's drama. Okay? That's perfectly fine. And you can do what you want to do. You decide what you want. So long as it is not hurting anybody else. You're stronger than you think you are. You can stand your ground. You've proven it. And you've got the Eight of Cups. You get a recognition for your hard work. So there could be a definitely a promotion or a new job. You might even start a new study, like I said before. That could be because you've been contemplating and thinking about how to carry on. Again, you are in the limelight because you've got the sun, the most positive card in the deck one of them anyway. You are in the spotlight and where did we have the moon? And you've got the moon. You've got the night and you've got the day. The, you will get to know things because you will do your research. This is a Pisces, this is Leo. Okay, because the sun represents Leo. So again, moving home and you did have moving home with the six of sky the six of swords okay wow 
Mmm, lovely, lovely. And you might be moving in with somebody with the, the Ten of Cups because it means expansion. Okay, or might be buying a house together and you'll be happy. Okay, so you need something is also being illuminated with the sun, like I said, the moon, the sun, and the star. So you need more information. Make sure that you do your research well and get the right perspective in everything you do. You might find out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precaution. Again, pregnancy could be happening in July. So, or in the, uh, uh, well, it could could be because this is the overall energy okay or it could be happening in November because ten of cups is happy 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 times you might find out so it could be in uh, July or it could even be in August because Leo is in August and July if you can't get pregnant, then you might hear of a birth. This could be that one of your children is becoming a father or a mother. Or has a new house or a new job. This card also means moving home and going on holiday. Wow. And again, we have a Seven of Cups. That's dreams, goals, wishes. My when I see this card I always say make sure that the real dreams and wishes that they can come true be careful what you wish make a pro and cons list so that you can take one step at a time and make those dreams wishes or goals come true and that will motivate you to carry on to the next one and you are moving on to the next one because this is seven and this is eight so you are going forwards you must see that. Awesome. Now we're going to the inspiration card and the inspiration card is be aware of your source. The source being God to some, the divine to others, the cosmos to others. Notice incidents such as banging your elbow or stubbing your toe. Stop in those moments and ask yourself what was I just thinking? and how is it related to what appeared to be an accident. Doing so creates a constant awareness of your source and direction of life. Wrong one. This one. In other words, it's also saying take time out so now and again to get the right perspective to stay in tune with the universe and with your inner self. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Again, there are difficult times, but this is the eight of um, spades. Oh, sorry, this is the eight of cups. This is not the eight of pentacles. I just see that now. The Eight of Cups means that you're bored and you want, you're want you going away. You want to leave. You want to go and have excitement and adventure. You will. You will. That could be your wish. It will come true. But there might be some issues. So that might be uh, the issue that you might need to seek more information. Boom. The illumination. Before you travel, make sure that you can travel. Um, what do you need to travel or what do you need to move into a next job if you're going to work in care because you've got the night of water and that means care nurturing so you might be going into the health sector that's why it might have been delayed boom delayed you didn't see it coming and delayed is also the hanged man wow because of the coronavirus don't make mountains out of molehills, though, or don't make an uh, out of don't make an elephant out of a fly. Just take your time, and you are, by looks of it, you are, you are taking your time. You're getting the right moment. 
the right moment isn't here yet it will be in July it will be in July okay it could even be in November so you might get the job in July but you might not start work until November or you might get promoted in November because promotion is also on the list now this is a, an, a deck that psychologists, psychiatrists, life coaches, uh, managers, managers, uh, uh, career officers uh, if they're doing an evaluation they use these cards show and tell the man that made these cards is a multi-billionaire because they are selling like hotcakes they use them to open up conversation and break the ice now you you can see rails here right from net uh, from a train or from a tram or from the metro so I'll hold it up take a picture or put put it in your mind make a picture in your mind what does this picture say to you what would you say I'm just going to give you a few examples look at the whistles these change the the direction of how the train is going to go either uh, this way or if they are changed do they go that way this is a crossroads you've got choices decisions or do you think the train just goes up and down one track are you on the right track this is how I try to stimulate people to think because a picture says a thousand words so I hope that motivates that you are on the right track to the northern note boom do you see how uh, sober cards or normal cards according to the normal people well what's normal everybody's definition of normal is different well they are copying uh, us now by making these cards you can see so much in one card now you have this card and I didn't see it heart to heart conversations but I did see say this is a this is a warning card the a disagreement card if you feel you are stabbed in the back talk about it there are things you don't know boom the same overall energy so if you want to remain with this person if you love them then have a heart to heart conversation open your heart open your mind open your solar plex perhaps you've locked down yourself closed yourself off to them because of all this lockdown and stress it does it that happens to people honestly discuss your feelings with each other otherwise you cannot carry on and be happy families you need to know how they feel you need to know each other's boundaries in order to grow together upwards and onwards and towards each other okay Scorpio this is your reading I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope the next seven months will be better for everybody and by the looks of it yes but be more conscious of what's happening around you and not just in front of you don't look at what you don't have look at what you have and be happy and content and maintain the conversation open your heart to receive in your solar plex and be healthy open your mind for new ideas go and read books go and learn where's the eight uh, no it's not the eight of pentacles this is the eight of cups go out there and learn you don't have to travel to learn you can watch YouTube you can what go uh, buy books the bookstores are open you can read magazines small articles start small and grow into the big books okay I love you all take care and be blessed
best. And please share and like the video with family and friends.